Good morning, folks. It's September the 30th. Falls here. And I let's see, the water temperature is 75 degrees. The surface temperature is. I'm here fishing at Wyass Lake. And today we're going to do some dock shooting. Okay. Let's go over our equipment today. I'm using a uh, ACC crappie stick. Okay, it's a five foot version. It's the one that's made for shooting dogs. I'm using, also using, an uh, ABU Garcia rod, Saron. I mean, real, excuse me. And I'm using a 4x4 four four jig, 132nd ounce. Okay, and we're going to shoot some dogs. Uh, well, line, let's go over line. I'm using six pound test line. And uh, that's my preferred pound test line for shooting dogs because there's a lot of cover under these dogs. Let's give it a try. What I do is I just take my jig about right here in this neighborhood. That's the comfort zone for me and everybody is different. Once you start practicing or getting out here on the water dock shooting, you may have a different length that you want to use but it, all you're doing is loading your rod up by grabbing the jig head not the hook you'll end up with that in your finger if you don't watch it load it up let's get up here with this dog Grab it by the head of the bait, hold the line with your index finger, load the rod up, hold your line parallel to the water as you can, and let go. It went way up under there. That's what we want. Let's go fishing. There we go. Come on out of there, boy. We'll just flip him on in there. There you go, got you. You ain't a very big one, but we got you. I tell you, it's a windy day today. It's not really a good day for shooting docks. Real windy, a front come in. We got that fish. Look at there. About an eight and a half, probably an eight and a half, nine inch fish. I'm gonna let him go, but we got him shooting. Now that fish, right off the bat, I know just wasn't very far up under there. And it may be because of the overcast conditions. But uh, I'm gonna fish around in here a little bit longer and see if I can catch a couple more. If I can find some areas on this lake that it's not so windy because it is windy right here and it makes shooting docks difficult. Wait. What do we got right here? I didn't expect that bite right there. It's a pretty good fish. Let's see if we can swing him in here. I tell you what. Come here, crappie. <laughs> Ain't nothing like the sport of fishing. Even though the wind's giving me... Where's my pliers? I gotta get my pliers. These... Like I said before, these mustads. Look, look at that hook penetration on that jig. Let's see if we can get it out. Once you hook a crappie with these, Right here in this four by four jig, these mustad hooks, you got him. That's a pretty good fish, let's let him go. I'm 
And there he is. Feels like a good fish right here. That's a good fish. Get down here and lift this one. Ah, let's just get him in. Now he was in 10 foot of water, but he was suspended at five foot. That's a good fish. Fishing real, real slow. They're not very active. This little front has got these fish knocked off. Okay, let's let him go. Watch him right there. That's what I like. Okay, let's see if we can catch another one there, Elmo. Hey, what do we got here? Oh my. Tell you one thing, Elmer, that ain't no dead blind crappie. No way there's a crappie wee up under there that's fighting that hard. I believe we got a spot of bass, folks. Let's go ahead and get him in. Good gracious, he's fat. You can't shake. You can't shake that four by four out of there, boy. Look at that jig where it caught him. There was no slipping whatsoever. It caught him, that four by four jig caught him right exactly where he, when he shut his mouth. And I set the hook, that's exactly where that hook was. All right, let's let that fish go. It's not a crappie, but I think we're going to show that fish anyway. Let's get back up here and here and see if we can't catch a crappie. There he is. That's a good crappie right here. That's a good fish right here. He was wee up under there too. They're, they're hard to get to. But now, shooting is the way to go. Now I changed. Quit, quit, quit. See what I caught him on? Caught him on the four by four. And uh, I went to a curly tail, an inch and a half curly tail grub. When things get tough, I do that. That's an old bait. That's a good fish right there. All right. Let's watch him go right there. Golly. Next year, he'll be two inches longer. He'll be a foot long next year. Let's catch another one. Uh-huh. There's another fish. Come on in here. I thought he was bigger than that, but he thumped it. He put the hammer down on that curly tail. Get on back in there. A lot of fun, folks. Just take that rod and wheel. I'm having to get it at an odd angle. I'm trying to really uh, and get it way back up in there where the shade is, where nobody else can get. Okay, just far back up in there as you can get it. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Folks, I have an announcement to make. Uh, on Tuesday, October the 3rd, 2017, the 116th ounce Ultimate Crappie Jig Head will be available. Uh, they have regular and weedless versions, and they are available in six different colors. You can get them online at www.4x4bassjigs.com. The link will be in the 
the description box below. Now the 132nd ounce will also be available in a week or two. Hey, you know what? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Go fishing when you can, cause it's good fight. He can do it. He got it. He got it. Oh. All right, your set machine. Come on, machine. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing.